Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth video in the recursion series. So in this video, we, go, we are going to solve the problem. Remove all occurrences of a character in a string. So we are given a string and a character and we need to remove all occurrences of that character from the string. So let's see. Uh, I have taken this input E A E V and a character E. So we need to remove all the occurrences of E from the string. So if we remove all the occurrences of E, E is present at this position and this position. So if we remove these two, then what the output we get is we get A V. So this we need to do simply using recursion. So as we know that we always have to take care of these three steps, base case, recursive call and small work. So let's see recursive call first. So in recursive call, we divide our problem in the thing which we will do, right? We will do and and in the other part which recursion will do, right? So and we know how we divide in a string, right? So we usually work on the zeroth index, right? And rest of the thing recursion do for us. So we will not think how recursion is doing and everything. Recursion will do for us. So if we see, if we do recursive call on this A, E, B string, what it will do is it will remove all occurrences of E from the string. So what we'll get is E will be removed and we'll get A, B. Right? And we have E which was at the zero index. So this is what we get after the recursive call. So zero, one and two. Now, we did the recursive call, right? Our recursive call step is done. Now it's time for small small work. And small work we usually do, we always do at the zeroth index, right? We do at the zeroth index. Now, what will be the small work? So, what we will check first? What we need to remove, right? We need to remove. Uh, we need to remove the character, right? And character over here in this question is e. So we will check that if at character zero right at character zero of the string do we have that character which we need to remove c is the character which we need to remove right so we'll check if f was s of zero is c then we need to remove remove character at zeroth index right so whatever it has zero index we need to remove that now how we will remove this? This, if this gets removed, whatever is at one index will come to zero index, and what will, and what is at two index, it will come to one index. So basically, when you remove what, like if you remove something which is at zero index, all the next indexes will shift to one place before, right? One place before. So that means if you have a e a b right e a b and if the indexes are 0 1 2 on removal of e the string will become a b that means a will come to 0 index that whatever it was on i index will come to i minus 1 right and b was at 2 so it will go to 2 minus 1, 1. So now A will be at 0 index and B will be at 1 index. So this is our small work. So what we did on small uh, at small work, first of all, we checked that if S of 0 is equal equal to C, right? Then we, if this is true, then what we did was we shifted all characters one backward, one back, one back, right? So this is our approach. So this was the small work. Now let's see the base case. So as we discussed in the previous question also, 80% of the string questions, the base case is that when we reach the null character. So null character means we had reached the end of the string. So let's see the code for this problem. If you understood the uh, uh, logic, then the code will be very, uh, very easy for you. So, in the code, we have, have we have a function remove x, 
and we have a character array right uh, firstly this is a base case we are checking that if we have reached the end of the character array that is null character right if the element which is at zeroth index is null character we mean it means we reach the end of the character array so we'll return otherwise we'll do the recursive call recursive call starting from the next index not will not take the current index because on the current index we'll do the small work and this is a small work in small work we are checking that okay if we at zero index if we have uh, let's say uh, uh, in question we have c right we can take uh, c over here right um, it will be a character right if input of this is character then what we need to do is we need to start from the end till one right till the first index we will not take zero index right till first index because first will go on zero right so we that's why we did not start it from zero otherwise zero will go in to minus one which is not possible right you will get an error so we'll start from last of the string to the first index and whatever it is at ith will now go to i minus one that means what was at i at 1 a was at 1 index right now a will go to the 0 index that means whatever what was on i at will now go to i minus 1 right so this was the small one. so this is was the code right very easy and simple code so let's discuss the time complexity also for this so um, time complexity since we are traversing on the entire string right only once so we have o of n as time complexity and space we are not using any extra space apart from the recursive stack which we are not gonna consider over here so um, extra space is o of 1 it's we do not take any space right so this is the problem right uh, i hope you understood the logic and the code if you have any uh, queries please comment down and the code link and the problem link is in the description thanks for watching